Medical tourism got a shot in the arm as Pharmacy Conference Bahamas 2013 is hosted on our shores. The conference brought together members of the Commonwealth Association of Pharmacists and the Caribbean Association of Pharmacists for a supersized event. Before leaving the Bahamas, conference attendees were hosted to an evening of Bahamian culture. Well, you know, the Commonwealth uh, covers 54 nations, and today we have 42 of those nations represented at this conference. There's, there are delegates from the 17 countries that make up CARICOM, as well as the Dutch Antilles. And so, in all, in, in all we have hosted what I would consider one of the larger international conferences. Bahamas organizing chairperson Philip Gray has been working on this event for the past 18 months and says it was an awesome journey. Gray says that he has also had to make sure that the conference participants were given ample opportunity to explore the Bahamas. You can't come to the Bahamas and just do conference work all week. Come on, man. So we've made sure that we have our tour guides so that they can actually explore and see so much else about the Bahamas. So the Adastro Gardens, the fort, you name it, the beaches, the catamaran cruises, etc. We need to make sure that everybody in the tourism industry is impacted by what we're doing. Our government is interested in medical tourism and we're showing them that it is possible to impact the tourism industry significantly by med medical tourism. Under the theme Enhancing Optimal Pharmaceutical Care Through Technology, delegates say that while the conference covered a lot of ground and diverse topics, the focus was mainly in one area. It's been a combination of everything, but really we're, we're focused on technology. So. How is technology going to help the pharmacists in the future and also the suppliers and the distributors? So uh, keeping track of where things are from, what are they, um, and looking at the pedigree of the products that come so that you can be sure that when you give them to patients, they're, they're what they need. The conference ran from August 14th through the 18th. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.